Megan Mutri for HeavensGame.com with your Rugby Rundown. The top flight in France saw a change atop the leaderboard, several defiant wins and a notable upset this weekend. With a 32-14 win over underperforming Stade Francais, Castor regained their first place spot on the top 14 table as Clermont, their nearest rivals, fell to racing 33-24. I feel like I've been picking on the Parisians, but while other teams are gathering timely momentum, Stad continue their erratic, hot and cold season. Both Toulouse and Perpignan notched bonus point wins heading into the home stretch of top 14 pool play. Because of the rain, Toulouse's pack had the responsibility of generating the offense, and they did not disappoint as their three tries up front resulted in the bonus point win. Defending champions Perpignan made a case for a title repeat when they ran in six tries and unleashed a total of 49 points on Bourgeois, who could only muster 19 in response. A third of Perpignan's lineup would score a try in the win, including a double tally for fullback Joffrey Michel. 13th place Bayon shocked Vireeds by blanking them, 15-0, and elsewhere, Brive and Toulon also had victories. In off-field action, Toulon and Castra added to their good weeks by signing internationals Johnny Wilkinson and Chris Basoe to one- and two-year contract extensions. Those not selected for Six Nations duty will have a brief two-week holiday before the Top 14 resumes on February 20th. The big names weren't on the rosters this week for the LV Cup, but quite a few of the squads used the chance to show off their depth and talent and a few up-and-comers took the opportunity of the rare senior game time to shine. The Ospreys looked affected by the news of Lee Burns' suspension and a 25,000 euros fine for last week's extra man mix-up as they lost to the Dragons 40-19 despite double dipping with a few of their Six Nations stars. The Blues, with 15 changes to their lineup from last week, laid into Newcastle with six tries, winning 45-24. Young fly half Reese Priestland kicked six penalties to give the Scarlets an 18-13 win over the Wasps. Left off England's roster, wing Tom Varndell sent a message with two tries in the losing effort. Harlequin's teenage winger, whom I could probably still babysit, Sam Smith scored his second try in his many senior starts, ending the London Irish's hopes of an LV postseason. Wrapping up the weekend, Justin Marshall scored a try against his old club to help the series top leads 28-5. On top of having a great last name, Billy Twelve Trees also scored two tries in Leicester's 27-11 victory over Bath. The Saints have a four-point lead on the rest of Group 4 with a six-point win over Sale. And Gloucester coach Brian Redpath was only happy with the first half of his side's win over Worcester. That is all for this rundown, but please join me later this week for an in-depth Six Nations preview. The rundown is available on iTunes or the YouTube version can be embedded on your site. For HeavensGame.com, I'm Megan Mutri. Thank you for watching.